Hey, CJ. This is my first time to analyze your swing. Um, and this is week three. So other coaches I know have been giving you great advice. It's been great to see that you're outside working. Um, and I want to talk about something that I'm sure the other coaches are talking with you about as you're working with them. And I just want to illustrate it. And, and so from watching the video, it looks like we're still we're still kind of struggling with this concept and need to continue to focus on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to focus on an area that I think is probably continues to be reinforced week after week. And I'm hoping that reinforcement will allow you to continue to grow and continue to look at it. And so this is what we want to work on. Okay, so let's let's get this video going. And let's just actually go back. And I want to show you that you've got nice Nice posture. You're bent at the waist. So, so I like the I like the starting point. So we don't need to focus there. Where I like to focus is what happens as you move forward into your heel strike. So as your heel hits the ground, CJ, your hands drop and your back shoulder drops. All right. So what should happen? is as your heel hits the ground, your hand should remain here and your shoulder should remain that way, okay? And as we advance the video forward, you're gonna see what happens because of that hand drop and your hands leading the way too quickly. Your elbows get way in front of the knob, okay? And you keep going, they're, they're still in front. All right, and it's caused what I'm sure you've now been alerted to, bat drag. Okay, instead of the snapping of the bat from here through there, you've, you're dragging it like uh, across, across a flat plane. You're dropping your hands and then you're dragging it. Okay, so the trick here if it's a trick or the skill is to get to that point and have me freeze the video and have your bat still like that. So imagine this goes forward and down and this stays here. So everything's going to start to advance forward, forward, and you're going to create tension between here and here. And then, and then you're going to snap down and through the ball. Okay. And I know that's very difficult because everything's moving fast, not in the milliseconds like I'm looking at this, CJ. But what I promise you is that is the correct posture and the correct way to gain bat speed and gain power is to create tension between your hips and your hands and then let your hips begin to rotate and then, and then bring your hands through straight to the ball. All right. So get back out there. We want to stop that movement right there. And if you do that, especially from your great starting position and your strong finish, as you finish, very strong, late, high finish. So there's a lot, lot good. You're going to find you're going to be a much more effective, powerful hitter. So um, I've enjoyed seeing this first video of you, and I'm looking forward to many more. Looking forward to actually just getting out there and actually working with you and seeing you face to face and I can tell you these things, you know, uh, from six feet apart or, or who knows, you know. So anyway, CJ, good to see you. I hope you enjoy the video and look forward to keep working with you.